Let's get a check of the markets now. Joining us from Comsec is Tom Petrovsky. Tom, good to see you. How were the markets overnight? Well, interestingly, Danika, they have done quite well, and that is in the context of uh, seeing more rate hikes from central banks. So this time, yesterday morning, we were talking about the US Federal Reserve having just uh, completed its most recent rate rise of a quarter of a percent. Overnight, we saw the Bank of England and the European Central Bank uh, each raise rates by a half of 1%. So uh, I suppose the positive aspect of that is that uh, those results were as expected. But when you dig into the commentary particularly where uh, the Bank of England was concerned, uh, there was a suggestion that the rate hikes in the near to medium term could potentially be a little less aggressive than what um, had been previously discussed. Uh, the Bank of England uh, removed uh, an element of their previous statement saying that they would have to raise rates forcefully. Uh, and there, um, as a result, we saw US and European markets do quite well. Uh, we had the FTSE up by around three quarters of a percent. The French market was up 1.2 percent and the German market was up by around two and a quarter percent. And in the aftermath of the US Fed's decision yesterday, we've seen US markets uh, a little bit more mixed, I suppose. Uh, the S&P 500 at the moment is up by about a percent, but we have seen quite a stunning improvement where Meta's shares are concerned. So Meta, of course, is the owner of Instagram, Facebook, WhatsApp. Uh, they had some earnings which, uh, frankly, were mixed, but they were not as bad as what the market had anticipated. A uh, big focus on cost cutting. They've uh, famously announced that they'll be cutting uh, almost 14% of their workforce. Uh, a $40 billion share buy buyback, of course, was a bit of a sweetener as well. And that has all contributed to the shares being up by about 25%. So to put that into context, if you've held the shares over the course of the period since September of the previous year, you've seen them lose three quarters of their value. But since uh, early November of last year, uh, that stock has now more than doubled in value. So it's been a withering ride for holders of that stock. All right, Tom, see you again soon.